Hello everybody, this video is a review of our 2003 Piaggio X9250 scooter. Uh, this scooter is what we use as a general runabout sort of on the day to day and it also can be used as a hire bike while your one's in for repair if you hold the requisite license. I'm going to go over the bike, show you the things that it does and uh, do a road test on it as well which we shall see. Okay, I've got this bike in 2009 and I have done, we're showing 19,988 miles, I've done nearly 10,000 miles over the three years. As you can see, it's got a temperature gauge on it which at the moment is registering 26 degrees, which as we are on the hottest day so far in July. That's not bad going. It's a single cylinder 249cc, it's a Honda Honda engine. And uh, it makes I think around about sort of 33 to 35 brake horsepower. It's got plenty get up and go for a maxi scooter. Let's say I'll start the engine up for you. It starts nice and quietly. It's got quite a comprehensive set of gauges. It's got a fuel gauge, a speedo, a rev counter and a fuel gauge. It also has this natty little digital display here which shows your mileage, as well as the trip, your mean speed, maximum speed and the clock I'll give it a little rev for you so it's nice and quiet turn the engine off it will cruise happily at sort of 70 75 on the motorway and it will top out sort of between 80 and 90 if you want to get up to that speed it has Twin headlamps on the front, which are lovely and bright at night. Sort of integrated onboard indicators, which are really, really, really good because with the, the life of scooter leads, you don't really want indicators hanging out. It's got a 14-inch front wheel with twin discs, but this scooter has a trick up its sleeve, which some people might like and some people may not like. The front brake lever here only operates on this one disc here. The other brake, which on a conventional scooter would only operate the rear brake, when you pull it, operates that brake on that side. And also the brake in there, which gives you really, really good stopping power. This, this scooter, twin disc, it really does haul up nicely. I mean storage wise, it's got a little compartment here which you could fit in sort of wallet, keys, anything like that. It's got another one here that's for your coolant, you can see what the level is and top it up as necessary. It's got a bag hook, has a glove box, if you press, press that in and open it up, which although it's not that big will hold this bit when I've got a rag in there and down here you'll see you've got your fuel cap release and your seat release. First of all we'll show you the fuel flap. If you look there, you pull that opens it up, open that up and you can fill that with fuel. And this one is your boot your, your seat release. Pull that and open up the seat. It's on a ram it stays itself up there quite well. Huge under seat area. You can fit a full face helmet in there quite easily. It's also got like a little cover for your seat. It's parked up and it's raining. It'll give you half a chance of having a dry seat when you leave. I mean it's got a light under here. 
and a uh, like I said, a lighter attachment. I'll close the seat down. Has a top box which I fitted. Yeah, it's just your standard fair Givy top box. A few bungees in there for I'm picking things up. And that's it storage wise. Alright, reliability. When we first got it, I had to do the standard uh, Piaggio uh, carburetor fix where the float, the, uh, the mount on the float wears in the carburetor body itself and it has to be basically the float sort of is uh, dancing around inside and it can't regulate the fuel flow and once that's fixed the bike hasn't really ever let us down it's had a few electrical gremlins but being an Italian bike especially a scooter it's nothing really to be surprised about they say the light under the seat are disconnected because it kept draining the battery uh, the indicators tended to not not work when they felt like it but all being well it's, it's still working fine I had to replace the shocks I was surprised they were readily available from uh, the factory uh, the exhaust although it's not blowing it's not looking brilliant I'm probably gonna have to replace that soon I fitted heater grips to it which worked quite well also sort of the sat nav mount here as so I go through the switches, it's got your high low beam, indicators, your horn, that's actually a hazard switch, showing you need to have the engine on for it to run. Uh, lights, starter, run and stop. It's got a lovely big screen. Which although for my height, I'm six foot two, it's a little bit blowy on the it's a little bit blowy on the motorway but if you duck down it's it's not really too bad it will hold two people comfortably it gets really good fuel mileage I wouldn't couldn't say the clock miles per gallon but it doesn't it's not too much to fill up and it runs for quite a long time so it's got dual it's got center stand it's got a side stand there And I've fitted. Another problem these have is that the wheels corrode on the inside and you have to be careful, you have to get them sealed, otherwise they do leak, leak quite badly. Uh, I believe that's all I've got to say about it. I say if you're thinking of buying one of these, they're quite a big bike sort of bit bigger than sort of like an equivalent they're quite big a step up from a 125 scooter and of course you'd have to you'd have to have a full test to ride one of these but they're nice and easy to ride I so I'm gonna do a road test and that you should see next so I hope this answers any questions for anyone that's interested in buying one of these or has got one already so thank you very much